The topic of this presentation is comparison of diagnostic yield of full core versus half core biopsy gun in indeterminate liver lesions. Ultrasound currently provides the only real-time appreciation of the needle position without the added burden of a worry over the use of excessive ionizing radiations. Any lesion that is visible on liver on ultrasound is amenable for an ultrasound guided biopsy. The safety of the biopsy of any focal lesion using this method is not disputed and ultrasound has successfully been used for biopsy of the hepatic lesions. Bineedal biopsy has been established as an accurate and safe procedure for tissue diagnosis of liver masses. Two needle designs are commonly used for obtaining the biopsies, the true cut needle and the end cut needle. The true cut needle consists of an inner stylet with a side notch and an outer cutting needle. It is introduced with the stylet slightly protruding from the cutting edge. After positioning of the needle tip at the margin of the lesion, the stylet is further advanced into the lesion followed by subsequent advancement of the cutting needle over the stylet. Tissue protruding into the side notch is cut off by advancement of cutting needle and entrapped. However, this technique obviously results in relatively little tissue being obtained as only the lumen of the notch is used to retrieve the tissue. This image demonstrates the working of a true cut biopsy needle. End cut needle, which is the second common type of the needle used for the biopsy of the lesions, is composed of sharp inner stylet and an outer cutting needle. It is introduced in a similar fashion to the type described above. At the margin of the lesion, the stylet is removed and vacuum applied during the advancement of the cutting needle. Thus, a coarse specimen is cut from the target tissue using the entire lumen of the cutting needle. This image demonstrates the working of an end cut needle. The full core biopsy gun is engineered to retrieve larger tissue of the liver potentially encompassing more of the lesion and surrounding liver impairing gamma, which may enhance the diagnostic accuracy, particularly in heterogeneous or borderline cases. Conversely, half-core biopsy gun while retrieving a smaller sample may be favored in cases where patient factors such as coagulopathy or proximity of the lesion to the vascular structures necessitate a more cautious lesion, cautious approach. The sem smaller sample size may reduce the risk of complications such as bleeding, which is a key consideration in patients with underlying liver disease who may already be at an elevated risk for procedural complications. Aims and methods. The study is aimed to evaluate the performance of conventional side cutting needles in comparison to the never core cutting needles in terms of pathological yield, diagnostic yield and complications. This was a prospective RCT which included 98 patients referred for ultrasound guided liver lesion biopsy in the Department of Radio Diagnosis and Imaging Schemes, Sora Srinagar. The patients were randomly assigned to undergo biopsy either with a half core or a full core biopsy gun after assessing inclusion and exclusion criteria. The biopsies were obtained using end cut biopins ultra needle for full core group and mission, TM, mission needle for uh, half core group. All procedures were performed in admitted patients. The stroke length of biopsy was 23 mm for biopins and 20 mm for barred biopsy gun wherever possible. The reporting pathologists were blinded to the type of biopsy gun used and two experienced pathologists decided whether the specimen was adequate or not. After the procedure, puncture site compression was applied and an ultrasound scan was performed at 5 minutes, 60 minutes and 240 minutes with an intention to look for hematoma formation or presence of refluid. Inclusion criteria of the study included patients who were older than 12 years of age who were referred to the Department of Radio Diagnosis and Imaging at the Study Institute for Image Guided Liver Biopsy, whereas the exclusion criteria included patients who were aged less than 12 years of age, pregnant females, uncooperative patients, highly vascular lesions, severe anemia, patients who had uncorrected coagulopathy, patients who had hydrated cysts, simple cysts, intrahepatic abscesses or hepatic bed infections, or patients with massive ascites, hemodynamically unstable patients, and vascular malformations. This image demonstrates the barred biopsy gun used in half core group and this image demonstrates the biopins biopsy gun used in full core biopsy group. This is an image which is showing biopsy of liver lesion using 18 gauge barred biopsy gun in a patient who was a known case of CA lung which on the histopathological examination revealed that the lesion in the liver was metastatic deposit from CLR. Similarly, this image shows 
biopsy of liver lesion using biopins uh, bi biopins biopsy gun and the histopathological examination of the specimen revealed it to be a neuroendocrine tumor Comparison of various parameters between full core and half core biopsy guns revealed that full core biopsy gun performed better as compared to half core biopsy gun when mean average length of the core, mean average diameter of the core and mean weight length of the largest core was compared with full core biopsy gun retrieving longer, wider and uh, more tissue as compared to the half core biopsy gun. When a comparison of complications between the two groups was made, it was observed that neither of the two groups developed any major complications. However, when minor complications like pain, minimal ascites and uh, was, was compared, it was observed that full core biopsy gun resulted in slightly more complications as compared to the half core biopsy group. However, the diagnostic yield of both the groups was comparable. And when the comparison of adequacy of the sample between the two groups was done, it was observed that majority of the samples in both the groups were rated as average by the pathologists and therefore no significant difference was observed between the two groups as far as this parameter was concerned. The study therefore evaluated the performance of side cutting needles compared to core cutting needles in ultrasound guided liver biopsy. The full core technique yielded longer and wider tissues resulting in larger sample size. Despite this, the diagnostic outcome between full core and half core groups was similar, indicating both the techniques are effective in clinical practice. However, full core's technique to obtain more tissue suggests it may be more reliable in cases in, in whom we desire to make additional investigations like ISC, mutations, gene sequencing, etc. While both the techniques had comparable complication rates, full core methods associated with slightly higher incidence of minimal ascites, however, it did not significantly impact the overall safety. The study thus concluded that the full core biopsy technique offers significant benefits in tissue sampling quality without compromising patient safety. Thank you.